Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the continuation of the previous video. We were working on the origin and the standard JCPD card. Just clicking this expert high score and open the standard JCPD card of strontium hexafluoride. As you can see the values of um, peak list which contain HKL values d spacing 2 theta and i intensity just copy all this data select all this data and then press control C just peak list control C and then open the origin file and place the button here at very next column then press control V you can see all the data of the JCPD card which we have copied from that uh, uh, from expert high score is now placed here in origin we just want we just require the uh, position and the intensity of JCPD card. Now delete all this excess data by selecting and clicking right click the button and then press delete. Now we want to plot the JCPD card parallel with the difference I observed, I calculated. So this is the position which should be at x so just click here and set this as x set as x because it is x x is the position okay 2 theta and this is intensity if we have to draw all this you can see <coughs> this is the stack line by offset choose this stack line by offset now here you can see this is I observed I calculated this is the difference and this is a card card shows here first of all we have to independent all this press independent and then press ok by Clicking the independence, we now deal each and each and every graph independently and we can move and we can select and move in any place where we want. Okay. Now this is the JCPD card. So JCPD card, we just click here, click the JCPD card and here is a line panel drop line we select the drop line where we need the drop line horizontal or vertical vertical drop line it is or we can select the okay these are the okay we can move this position of we can move or change the position of this graph from upper to bottom here you can see these are the JCPD card lines and we do not need this line which we uh, seen which you are seen at the upper level of these lines so double click this line and then press here the line and click the straight line no line okay now this become our vertical lines or the peak positions of the JCPD card this is the difference so you can place the difference here now you can see that the blur I observed and I calculated both are not uh, Mm, both are not straight and the baseline is not fitted so we can fit the baseline by selecting this select this and then go to the analysis 
and here you see the peak and baseline peak and baseline then observe the peak analyzer in peak analyzer we will open the open dialog box here you can see there are open dialog box the subtract baseline choose the subtract baseline then press the next button or you can move here next button and then here you can see the constant just choose a symmetric least surfaces and then press next and then press next and then here is the subtract or this this uh, graph becomes straight now finish this process now you can see we have gotten this baseline a set baseline of this graph now again apply this formula on the, apply this procedure on the i calculated so again repeat this analysis peak baseline peak analyzer and then select open dialog box here again choose subtract baseline okay then the constant it is asymmetric next this is very easy to straighten the your data now the subtract here you choose it here you can see this line is also straight become straight now finish this process now again come to the minimize this and come to the table here you can see that you have obtained two fitted data here this is the subtracted data of the first line this one is the subtracted data of first line so we will need this subtracted or the baseline fitted data instead of the i observed i observed you can see here is i observed b y1 so we will copy this values on uh, in place of b y1 so copy control c and then paste this data here control v okay similarly here you can see this subtracted data which is present at my5 it is the subtracted data of i calculated so copy this file copy this data and paste on cy1 now again you can choose the graph or plot the graph again so here is one data one point you can see this is the point by which you have gotten a straight line so you can delete this data data remove back points so you can remove this point okay and you can also remove this point so you can see this again by drawing a line graph so here you can get the pure now double click this and make the independent all of these lines okay by selecting the independent all these graphs are now become independent and then can move as you want so subtraction is here and this is the jcpt card symbol and here you can double click this jcpd card values